And now the heat is starting to come. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> <laughs> Fanboy. We already have fans. Yay! Hi, <laughs> bye. <laughs> no, it's Corona time. Think it. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> this is a special episode where we're going to try some hot sauces. We will have 10 different hot sauces today and we're going really going to feel the heat. We're going to try the hot sauces on these hot dogs. For quenching the heat, we're going to drink this beer. There are five different beers, and they are from countries known for their really spicy food. Uh, so yeah, we like looked up which country has the spiciest foods, and then we went in reverse order. So we have a Mexican beer, Chinese beer, two from India, and Thailand, which is supposed to have the spiciest food in the, the world. world. Yeah. yeah. Spicy food is measured in a scale called the Scoville heat unit. Milder things, I would say Tabasco, that's a quite mild sauce, so it's in the, in the lower part of the Scoville scale. Then we go up with different kinds of chilies. The strongest chili ever, Carolina Reaper, which is in the top, and that one measures about 1.5 million Scovilles, and it's pretty spicy. Uh, if we go even further, we have police pepper spray, which is about from 2 million to 5 million Scoville, so that's even stronger. Hottest thing of them all, pure capsaicin, 15 million Scovilles, and that is not really edible anymore. How they measure uh, Scovilles, it's measured by dried chips, and a lot of hot sauce makers are cheating, or they're not really knowing. They might have fresh chilies like this one, then they use the scores from this one, which would be wrong, because this one consists of 90% of water, is a tenth of the Scoville from this one. So now you know. Should we get starting on the food and drinks? I'm quite hungry and thirsty. I'm really hungry too. So we're going to start with uh, Mexico, which is really famous for their, uh, their salsas, their burritos and enchiladas and... Uh, fajitas. Fajitas. Mexico is known for these chilies. It's ancho and habanero. The Mexican beer is a Negra Modelo, a dark lager. This is the dark version of the Modelo we drank in our pilot episode. This was first brewed by Dustman Immigrants, 1926. Negra means uh, dark or black. Modelo means model or example. And it's come from the same brewery that brews Corona and Gran Medelo. Let's pour it up. Pour it up, pour it up. <laughs> All right. Just give it a taste. Yeah, because this is still called drink some beer and prosper. Yeah. Remember that. Cheers. Yes. Yeah, this one is really, really nice. It's quite typical dark lager. It reminds me of Kotzel which is a really perfect lager, dark lager. All right, so let's try this then. Uh, which uh, hot sauce are we trying first? Yeah, Sriracha. It's uh, from Flying Goose brand. It's a Thai product. Consists of water, sugar, syrup, garlic, 6% of chili. This one is around 3000 Scoville, so it shouldn't be too much. Let's put, put plenty of this one. It's like ketchup. Okay, dink it. Dink it. <laughs> Yeah, mm. you can feel a small tingling on the tongue, but it's mm. it's more salty. Yeah, it's like a salty, bit spicy ketchup. Call it Thai ketchup. Works good on hot dogs. Perfect on hot dogs. <coughs> <coughs> Shall we try the next one? Yeah, sure. That one will be uh, this one from Skånsk Chili. This is a Swedish one. It consists of uh, lingonberry, 
and blueberry and habanero. Two of those are very Swedish. So we, this will be quite unique and we think this will have a nice taste. It's about 6,000 scovels if I remember correctly. We need to shake it because this is a real hot sauce. The other one is more a uh, chili sauce. Yeah, like that. You can try it first. How much should you put on it? Not too much. Uh, yeah, that's good. Like this. Like ketchup. Dink it. Dink it. On the green. My mom usually says that I shouldn't speak while eating. <laughs> you can taste the lingonberries and blueberries. Yeah, but it's not spicy. No, I agree. But it's, it's tasty as hell. It's yeah. good. You want some more? There you go. Looks yeah. like blood. Drink it faster, you will feel it in your head. All right. <clears throat> you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next country, China. Some regions in China is known for their really, really spicy uh, food. The Shetsuan region is really known. Even here, you maybe heard of Shetsuan sauce. Maybe you heard of Mulan Shetsuan sauce. And maybe yeah. you tried it. Give me some. <laughs> Shetsuan sauce from Rick and Morty as well? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's from Rick and Morty as well. <laughs> they have this Shetsuan pepper, which assumingly is extremely hot. It has even been used as mouth anesthetics. Like when you go to the dentist? Yeah, at least in the olden days. But it's yeah. China, maybe in the 70s. That's <laughs> olden days in China. <laughs> this is, this is uh, something really interesting. They also might spice up dried fruit. Okay. Like with uh, cayenne pepper or just pepper. And I've tried some of those. We had like bananas and pineapple with cayenne on them. <laughs> it was sweet and extremely hot. <laughs> interesting. Was well, nice in a way, mostly weird though. So, uh, the beer for China, we have uh, Singtao, exactly the same one that we have in our pilot episodes. Uh, it's a Chinese lager, 4.7% alcohol. It's named after the city it's produced in, China's most iconic beer, although the brewery that's only the second largest in China. So, yeah, we have tried this before. We really liked it. It's really light. Cheers. Cheers. So what hot sauce is coming up next? Uh, the next one would be a Scotch Bonnet hot sauce from Popamies. So this is a Finnish hot sauce from our native country. And it looks like this. Let's shake it. Shake it up. Shake it up. This one consists of uh, peach, sugar cane, vinegar, sugar, and 45% of scotch bonnet. So this one is around maybe 18,000 scoville or so. It's not exactly, but something like that. So this one should feel already, we should feel it already. Are you allowed to tap out at some point? You're allowed to puke if you want to. <clears throat> if you do that, we will have a good show. We <laughs> will feel bad, but we will have a good show. and put a little bit more. We forgot to dink it. No, <laughs> it's Corona time. <laughs> no. Dink it. Yeah. This is a hot sauce. Uh, this is oh, actually... Yeah. You didn't have as much as I had. No, I know. But this is a tasty one. It's yeah. really fruity. You can really feel the peach in this one. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Sugar cane vinegar. Yeah, you can feel the vinegar as well. Yeah, this yeah. is a Finnish masterpiece. I like this one. Pop on yeah. it. This is my favorite so far. Yeah, but let's drink some more. Yeah. Yeah. And now the heat is starting to come. A bit. We can and feel it. Some. We can feel that thing that we want. <laughs> <laughs> we have the chilies. <laughs> Next hot sauce is from a company called Tistelwind. We got three samples actually. From them. We got uh, maybe four samples. Uh, they are a bit special because they have fermented the hot sauces, which is a bit different. So they ferment their stuff. 
much way. That's different. It would give a cleaner taste in, uh, or more taste actually, because it, it uh, it's the same as with beer uh, with the bacteria. It brings down the uh, different substances in, in the sauce. Okay. Yeah, I can't explain it really. That's all right. I'm not a chemist. <laughs> so, uh, so this one is called Chocolate Scotch Bonnet. So it's a chocolate scotch bonnet. This one is special in this way also that it's 96% uh, of chili. The rest is only apple cider vinegar, rapeseed oil and sea salt. And they need the sea salt for the fermentation process. So let's try this one then. Shake it, shake it, shake it. It should be about as, as spicy as the last one, but we have to see. I will put some here. Yeah. Damn it. I'll try a little bit more. You have more than me. <laughs> Dink it. Dink it. And eat it. Eat it. Okay, this is actually way spicier. I don't feel it yet. You don't feel it? Okay, now it's coming, yeah. It's, it's a bit of a delay. Now it's starting to burn. It feels like it would be stronger than a fresh one. What do you think? Uh, it's burning a lot right now. I think that this burns more than that one. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it is stronger. So maybe we will be wrong with our uh, expectations. Yeah. Already? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do you have any garbage bin? Uh, not close by. Hey! Let's drink the beer. <laughs> it's almost harder to drink now. As soon as you put the liquid in your mouth, it quenches the heat. But as you swallow it, it comes back. And it's not going away. <laughs> Is it hurting that much? <laughs> I'm struggling a bit. And we're only halfway there. <laughs> this will be fun. Next beer. We have two beers from India. The first one is Bira 91, a blonde summer lager, 4.5%. It has an origin in Belgium and it was exported to India and it was such a success that they started producing it in India. So now it's produced in India only. India is known for its insanely hot curries and dishes like vindaloo. That is usually the hottest food you get at Indian restaurants. I order it sometimes and it's hard to eat, but it's really enjoyable. They're known for using ghost pepper, which is one of these, the hottest ones up there. It's about 1 million Scoville, so it's pretty insane. We have never tried before, so this will be interesting. Same here. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, finally a beer with a more taste. Yes, yeah. this, this is really good. Really interesting taste. This is nice to drink right now. It has more taste than I expected. I, th I think I really like Indian beer right now. All right, the next hot sauce then. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Next one from uh, Tistelwind again, hot sauce called uh, Safi. This is a sweet, fruity African habanero. And as the other one, this has 96% of chili in it. And the rest is as in the other one. It's apple cider vinegar, rapeseed oil and sea salt for the uh, fermentation process. And it says it's super hot. This one was also super hot, so it should be in the same uh, way as that one. All right, so... Uh, Let's open it up and try it. Oof! That's a Wait. lot. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> Dink it. it. Eat it. I don't feel anything. I think the bread is absorbing a lot. This doesn't feel as... No, no it doesn't no. feel as much. No, it doesn't. Which is weird because this one, both of these, 
It's, it uh, should be the same heat. It should be the same heat, yes. But we put more of this one than this one. So This one has had an amazing taste. This one, not so much. No. Yeah, this was much better than that one. I think this bread is really boring now. The bread? Yeah. It feels hard to eat this shit. <laughs> this is not only a hot sauce challenge, this is an yeah. eating challenge. A hot dog challenge as, as well. <laughs> Two in one. We had this many <laughs> sausages left. Let's keep going. This doesn't feel healthy anymore. <laughs> Which hot sauce is this one then? This is the Inferno hot sauce from Skånsk Chili again. So the other Swedish hot sauce brand. It's apricot, sea buckthorn, which you can find almost only in the Nordic countries. And it has the infamous Trinidad Scorpion yellow chili in it, which is about 1 million Scoville. The special thing about this one, it has actually won uh, the Hot uh, Pepper Awards. So it should be tasty. Let's right? hope. My bread is broken. <laughs> My bread broke. <laughs> Oh, fuck! That's a lot. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> How are you doing over there? <laughs> nice! Uh, drink it. <laughs> and eat it. Oh, dear God. What? It's hot. Is it? No, I can't feel it. No, really, I can't feel it. How much, did, how much did you take? A bit. You took more than me, I guess. I think we poured the same amount. Really? Okay, something went wrong here. Yeah. I, I, I need to take more. No, right. No, I don't really feel it. You don't? No. Yeah, now I, I feel something. It always takes a couple of seconds. It burns a bit on the tongue, but it's tasty. The sea buck tone makes it. It's actually really nice. Oh, now I feel it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Can you feel the alcohol? Um, I start to get a bit, uh, I would call it tipsy, yeah. We're not yet at the... Like we were in the part oh, no. four of our pilot. No, that <laughs> one was horrible. I remember that I drank a beer at the bar once. It was a Piri Piri beer. Piri Piri is a, is a chili... This one? Yes. It's that one. Yeah, it, this is Piri Piri. It's a small one. It's a small but a fucking nasty one. <laughs> <laughs> this beer actually is a bit uh, similar without the heat. But when, when you're eating hot stuff, it starts to taste exactly the same. And, and I like that. It was a really nice one. It, it had a it had a two piri piri inside the bottle. It's on. All right. Uh, this. So this is our table. It looks like this. This is our sausages. This is our bread. Uh, this is food. Half, half eaten hot dog. Yeah. And yeah, we should continue with something. Uh, next beer. Next beer. Yeah, uh, next beer. Our next beer. Our second Indian beer. This is Kingfisher Premium Lager Beer, 4.7% alcohol. Ooh. It's the, apparently the number one beer of India, and it's brewed by United Brewery Group. Uh, that brewery is actually a conglomerate, so they have the Kingfisher Airlines. They have a football team called Kingfisher East Bengal FC, and uh, the Force India Formula One team. Which so. is really fucking amazing that <laughs> someone that produces beer has so much to do with moving. Airlines, Foot. football, and Formula One. Cheers. Okay. King Fisher, let's go. Well, this is really a king fishing. It's a really nice beer, but I liked I liked Bira more. They're similar. I mean, all these, this one, the 91 and Cobra are pretty similar beers. Yeah. They are really Indian. I would say they taste Indian. Every one of these would be perfect with a hot curry. Next hot sauce. Tabasco brand. So this, this hot sauce, it's called Tabasco brand scorpion sauce. This one has Tabasco R sauce in it, and it has guava, pineapple, and scorpion peppers, which is about 1 million scoville. And this one should be 20 times as hot 
as the original Tabasco sauce. So uh, this should feel already. Yeah, this. You know, the show Hot Ones, they only put like one drop of every <laughs> fucking chili. You shouldn't try hot sauces like that. You have to try them for real. You have to overdo. Dink it. Dink it. And eat it. This is not a normal Tabasco. <laughs> no. It's way spicy. <laughs> God damn it, it's hot now. <clears throat> Yeah. Ignore the bread. When I ignored the bread, it was really hot. <laughs> this is a real hot sauce. Only 20 times more than the normal Tabasco. You can feel it. This beer is good for this. Yeah, this beer really quenches the heat. I need paper. <laughs> oh. uh. Three hot sauces to go. Next one is Tistelwind, yellow carne. Again, this one is fermented. It's 96% uh, chili, apple cider vinegar, rapeseed oil, and sea salt. This one has Trinidad Scorpion, which is about 1 million scovils. But it is fresh chilies in this one too. It is 96% of them. So that would turn up the heat. Yay. Hey, fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> we already have fans. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. High five. <laughs> this sausage is really cold. <laughs> oh. That's too much, maybe. <laughs> that is too much. Dink it and eat, eat it. it. Oh, sweet Jesus. You don't feel that? Yeah, I'm starting to feel it. Hmm. Why is it like when I feel it's too hot, you don't? And when you feel it's too hot, I don't? Yeah, that's weird. It's really fucking weird. <laughs> it's weird. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. You don't really feel the taste so much anymore because they're so hot. I felt something. It is fruity. It's weirdly fruity, but <laughs> <laughs> it has a mango taste. But I think the fermentation does it. I like this one. It's a yeah. really nice taste. This one is one of my favorites now. <clears throat> and now I also can feel it. <laughs> and it's not too nice. It burns my lips actually more than my tongue right now. Yeah, the lips are um, the worst. Our last country for this episode. Thailand. They're known for really spicy foods. There's spicy food and then there's Thai spicy food. They have dishes like green and red curry. They're really fond of these small chilies like this, ravit or burdar chili. And they're pretty spicy. It's not as spicy as these habanero things, but when you eat Thai food and they have two or three of these in your food, it's pretty spicy. So the bear for Thailand, another lager. Yep. Chang, 5% alcohol. Chang is, is it Thai for elephant? Chang is Thai for elephant. Okay. Apparently since 2015, they use rice as an ingredient. Our first can, so we don't need an opener. And this won some awards when we researched this beer. Yeah, it has won awards. And it also has elephants on its uh, label. Shall we try this one before we destroy our taste buds? They are already destroyed, but before we destroy them more. Show that. Cheers. Cheers. Similar to the Indian beers. Yeah, yeah. But it has some different taste. A bit more burnt taste again. I think it's, it is uh, the hops. 
Uh, what hot sauce is this? Yes, this is the bomb. It has orange habanero chipotle and it's natural pepper extract and it has won multiple awards and this one has appeared at every hot one season on YouTube under uh, the channel First We Feast. All right, so let's try this one. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, I have insanely a lot. That much. That much I have. Dink, Dink it. it. And eat it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh. <laughs> this one is 135,000 scovels. 0.500 or so. I don't know why it has awards. It's actually horrible and it doesn't taste good. Let's drink. Yeah. Uh. I'm not going to eat any more of this one. Oh, oh now I got more in my throat. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. My Kaliwa is raining. I think the worst is over. It sounds, it's something really strange with this one. Yeah. I'm tapping out right now. I'm not going to try the last one. Yes, you have to. I don't want to. Right, right. Uh, one more hot sauce to go. Yes, it's this one. It's Mad Dog 357. It's named 357 because the famous hot sauce has 357,000 scovels in it. This one is their new 25th year anniversary version, which has 1 million scoville in it. So this one will be 10 times hotter than this one, almost. It has red wine vinegar, garlic, lime juice. Then it has Trinidad Scorpion, ghost pepper, and Carolina Reaper, which has 1.5 million scovels. And I guess they all are dried. All right. It has a really big opening. This is scary. This is really scary. This is the last <laughs> hot sauce. Now we try it. Oh, oh. You, you, you'll try it. Dink it. Dink it. And eat it. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> YOLO. Do it, YOLO. It's starting, it's starting. Now it's burning a bit. A bit. Now it's starting, yeah. <laughs> I don't really feel it yet. But this one is worse. The bomb is worse. How is that possible? Yeah, it is. I can taste the garlic in this one. It's nice. The only one that I had a problem to stand is this one. Yeah, that, that was, was the worst. <laughs> the Tabasco one is also really a uh, surpriser. The first one, I felt like, oh, this is going to be a problem. Uh, I mean, like later on, but still. 
but this is the one that makes you want to quit. We had to take a break after we ate that one. Now it's starting to come. Is this a slow burner? Yeah, I feel it too. It's a slow burner. Oh! Pan Claude! <laughs> oh. You want some ice cream? So, this was our hot sauce challenge. And we're struggling right now. Yes, we I have, have these stomach cramps. Stomach cramps, I have tears in my eyes. Which one was your favorite? Not the bomb. That it's... was the one that killed us. For me, it was uh, this one, the papamias with, uh, with uh, the peach flavor. Yeah, it was good. I like this one a lot. Which one is that? Uh, it's uh, Testel and Trinidad Scorpion Yellow Cardi. I like this a lot. It had some weird uh, mango taste in it. That was a really nice taste experience. As you can see, we're eating ice cream right now. What was your favorite beer? The Tsingtao was my favorite. Okay, I have a favorite. This one, Bira 91. I was expecting mm. it to be real light, but it ha had a lot of taste and it was perfect for this challenge. So in this kind of challenge, I would be drinking this. Yeah. Oh, it's really tasty. The, the <laughs> ice cream is so perfect. Oh. So did you have any least favorite? Uh, from the hot sauces? Yeah. Oh, well, the bomb, that killed me. And the bomb is hurt, but it's also the best. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, Please comment, like and subscribe. And be sure to press that bell button over here for instant notifications. Cheers. See you.